Welcome to another episode of Racing to Learn. We're a nonprofit that gets kids excited about math and science. We've got two crawlers with us today, actually uh, a couple more to join us, but uh, we're, we're doing a head-to-head -head of the brand new Axial SCT-10-3, if I'm saying that correctly. SCX-10-3. SCX-10-3 with a Razor RC. We've got our Gen 8 Axe edition uh, from Red Cat. It's sporting a different body than the, uh, the usual International Scout um, uh, ragtop body there, uh, just because we're, we're still waiting on some magnets uh, to properly mount that body um, versus the factory Velcro. But uh, this is uh, our first time out crawling, uh, doing some, some real crawling on real rocks. Uh, so um, yeah, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll do a quick uh, just uh, um, look under the, uh, the bodies of these and uh, you just see how they compare. Uh, we're going air model, air, model airplane style with the uh, the body mountain on the uh, Gen 8 axe, couple <laughs> rubber bands. <laughs> right? Uh, I put in some magnets there and, and a piece of metal, but uh, I wasn't sure if that would hold up or not. Uh, so of course the the Red Cat Gen 8 axe comes with a hobby wing axe brushless system. Uh, it retails for five hundred dollars, if I'm correct. Something like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. Uh, and uh, yeah, the brand new SEX 103 right next to it. So. Yep. Uh, just came out yesterday. 500 bucks also. Um, but it's a brushed motor, combo ESC and receiver there. The new Spectrum little 40 amp ESC. Oh, that's receiver. interesting. Mm -hmm. um, no battery, of course, and uh, this brand new radio that came from came out from Spectrum DX3, oh. uh, which is a pretty cool little radio for an RTR. You know, definitely uh, nicer than average, and it's part of their smart system. So, if you get their smart batteries and smart receivers and all that, then you can check battery voltage and. Oh really? It's got tel uh, telemetry then? Yeah, it's got some telemetry. This one's just kind of simple. It's just got like four bars. Mm, mm -hmm. But um, you know, the more higher end uh, radios tell you the percent, or um, yeah, I think there's like even temperature and RPM sensors that you can. That's part of the smart system. I don't think this one actually has it, but um, mm. yeah. But yeah, it's a cool little. So it's a brand new RTR version of their SCX103. They had it. You know, like a kit version that came out a few months ago. Um, kind of a weird reversal. They, they, you know, most people I think come out with an RTR version and then maybe a kit version later for the hardcore guys. Yeah. But they went opposite this time for whatever reason. So the kit I think was 370 uh, with body. Actually, this nice sort of Jeep Wrangler body. Um, but no electronics, no radio, and you got to put together yourself. So mm. wheels and tires I think were included. Um, and this is $130 more with electronics. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so be good to see. It's, they made some updates to this over the CX-10 2 um, portal axles. I think they changed like the layout of, of the, some of the stuff, the electronics. I think the transmission is still the same in the drive shafts. Mm -hmm. um, so not a complete refresh. You know, probably like a 30 to 50% uh, update. Okay, yeah. yeah, I mean, this is really, uh, you know, just looking at some of the scale features there, it's, it's cool that they, they do the, uh, the engine and transmission, transaxle kind of scale uh, theme there. Yeah. It's got a micro servo for shifting. Yeah, so this, it's a three channel radio, but the car supports up to four channels, so mm -hmm. steering throttle, of course. And then uh, they've got this dig function, which the newer axials have. I think the capper has it. Um, but it basically like locks the rear end in place while the front can spin and so you can kind of like steer and like, mm. spin the front to do donuts I guess basically mm. <laughs> um, Or the other thing you can do is have a high low speed transmission, so um, mm. Out of the box, I think it comes with the dig. We'll see. I haven't actually driven this yet, so but um, Yeah, pretty nice overall. I mean, it's got all the steel links um, you know, the flat chassis, mm -hmm. flat uh, transmission there, like, 
new red cat has um, locked front and rear differentials, um, aluminum shocks, bead lock wheels actually. Nice. Um, officially licensed. I think these are trail grabbers. Okay. Auto trail grabbers, I believe. Yeah. Um, LED lights, front and rear. Oh, that's a nice Actually, touch. Yeah, so that's cool. Uh, enclosed fenders there, so mm -hmm. all the dirt and mud on your vehicle. A couple different um, battery locations, so mm -hmm. a little shorty or a little mini pack on the side or a full size in the back there. So I guess one cool thing about a lot of these scale crawlers is they're, they're set up either as trail trucks, mm -hmm. you know, more for flat surfaces then you would run like a full size in the back a little bit longer running time mm -hmm. um, a little bit better balanced front to rear and then if you got the high speed on the transmission you can go a little quicker right a little more bashing style yeah or you can go a little more crawling style so it's got the front mounted in motor uh, you can put the shorty battery like low on the chassis on the side to kind of balance it out mm -hmm. and then you know go in low gear and do your steep crawling um, so yeah, that's that's kind of cool. The, the, similar to the TRX4, I mean, you can kind of see they they realize the TRX4 kind of went next level on them. With the, mm -hmm. the TRX4 has a portal axle, high speed, low speed transmission, lockable front and rear diffs, mm. um, and then a couple of different battery mounting locations. And so this is kind of the answer, I think, to the yeah. TRX4. They didn't they didn't have the lockable disc, which I think would have been nice but um you know it is a it is a much needed update to the scx 10 2. it's about time right yeah yeah that one uh that one i think was a really really popular crawler probably the most popular mm -hmm. crawler out there on the oh market. yeah i mean axial has been doing it for you know a decade or more um and the i think the scale crawlers are a little more popular than the you know sort of what do they call it king of hammers style yeah. uh, <laughs> uh, crawlers rock uh, yeah. rock racer yeah yeah this people uh, like the scale details now it is I, I noticed that is that is that like a lipo alarm or something or um, I think it's just the capacitor on the oh okay ah for the ESC yeah it looks like a capacitor underneath there with yeah a little vent, maybe to let it cool a bit I don't know um it's uh, it's interesting though, right? Uh, you know, basically these two crawlers are at the the same price point, mm -hmm. um, but uh, y you know, in my opinion, the the Red Cat is is a, a, a better value for the money, right? You get a brushless agree. system. Um, this yeah, is I mean, a pretty nice. And the the electronics package on this Red Cat is pretty nice. Yeah, I mean, the radio is. Pretty outstanding. The Fly Sky GT5, which yeah. you've reviewed, right? Yeah, Razor RC. Yeah, for 70 bucks, that's that's a really nice radio. Yeah, and then the full Hobby Wing electronics, the Reefs uh, RC Servo. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know what the ounce inch rating is on that. 400, servo, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, it's high. This yeah. one is 200 ounce inches. Oh wow! So double. Yeah. So. I think what you're getting is basically, uh, you know, do you want the better electronics? You know, pretty much this is full aftermarket electronics that someone would buy mm -hmm. yep. to upgrade their RTR. On um, this one, maybe you get a little more features on the chassis itself. Mm -hmm. um, but you definitely, for 500 bucks, I, I think the brushed motor and the combo ESC receiver is kind of. Uh, <laughs> we, you'd expect more right at there, that yeah you'd expect more for that I, I mean, price i can't think of another 500 dollar rtr that comes brushed mm -hmm. yeah that you know? uh not a good value but you know you you do well you get the portals on both right right you you get the the two speed on the the sex yeah either um, the, dig or the, two, the high low yeah it's uh it, is that a thumb steering thing yeah and then this radio maybe you get so the cool thing about this electronics thing is um oh, that's it's cool their dsmr protocol mm -hmm. which um it's compatible with all their other spectrum radios so yeah. if you have another spectrum radio you don't even have to use this radio you can use that and just bind it mm -hmm. um but yeah it's got the thumb wheel thingy which i think it's got to be a first for an rtr radio yeah um foam wheel 
So the the smart stuff, you know, if you're into that whole ecosystem, mm -hmm. maybe you would like um, the Spectrum stuff that comes here because you get a little bit there. But I think most people don't have a smart, like they have smart battery chargers. Mm -hmm. So you just plug in your LiPo and it oh. auto detects the cell count. It's keeping track of number of cycles. Wow. Number of charges. I think like probably, you know, like high, low. Um, watermarks is there a special or, connector then or yeah, like how does so it this is a different connector so it's um, not just an ec5 yeah or is it it's it's the ec5 compatible but they call it the ic5 oh okay or, or ec3. ic3 okay uh, so it's got this extra wire ah. uh, which is probably like the balance lead yeah but um there is some other information like i think there's a chip or something in there um and the batteries definitely have some a little bit of storage or something um tracking information about the, the battery very interesting so they're a little bit more expensive you know uh -huh. for their batteries and but hmm. they make really uh really nice stuff so they kind of went with this orange color mm -hmm. um so some of the new armors come with it um mm. the new low c tenacity db pro the mm -hmm. The sort of 10 SCT style uh, RTR. Mm -hmm. It's got all mm -hmm. the, the Spectrum Firma stuff. Yes. I think that's what the ESC is called. The Firma. <laughs> firma. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, so their smart system and then their new radios. Um, so if you even if you have like a Spectrum DX5C, which mm -hmm. is what I have, mm -hmm. um, you can update the firmware and get all the new telemetry stuff. Oh, wow. Yeah, so they, they, they now call it the DX5C... Uh, active i think wow and just a name. firmware update but you can buy an older one and just update the firmware and get get all that stuff so it's very cool. cool so they already had that dual you know uh transmission um on the protocol i guess oh wow Send and receive you know do you need the uh a special receiver though well, well uh, yeah you'd need the you need yeah you need a telemetry capable receiver mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um i think they all end in like a t now or something like the uh. 6000 6180 or something. Very cool. Yeah, we, we just uh, have the, the DX2Es off of our Ruckus and, yeah. and whatnot, but uh, yeah, not... not the, uh, even the newer DX2Es, they call them the DX2E Actives, mm. um, they can get like, I think you can, I don't know, mount a phone or something on it. There, there's something you can do to get a little bit of telemetry on those. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty interesting with with uh, with Horizon Hobbies purchase of Axial a couple of years back via the the Tower Hobbies yeah and acquisition just, uh, putting Spectrum into everything now so yeah the, Primas, the the Axials um, the Losies of course mm -hmm. uh, they've gone full Spectrum uh, and uh, yeah it's interesting you know there's a little bit of a price component. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm not sure if people are really into it, um, but uh, it's definitely something everyone's trying to do. Yeah, and uh, also with uh, with Red Cat hiring Axials. That's right, ex president. Old, yeah, OCR. yeah. That's uh, it's it's. Uh, there's definitely a lot of interesting things going on in, in the uh, business side of things. Yeah, Red mm -hmm. Cat's pushing to try to you know move things along with more in-house designs uh, yep you know not just rebranded you know basically Chinese RC cars mm -hmm. um, it's good you know I'm, I'm happy to see them come out with stuff like what is that the wind Wendigo the Wendigo the Kaiju yeah yeah it's kind of some more uh, uh, you know I guess popular uh, well-received vehicles out there mm-hmm uh, very cool. Well, we'll get these out and running here. Uh, one last question for you, Razor, is what, what are these? I just noticed these, oh, so too. Any are little spots you can buy, like, LEDs. And get, oh, get a little glow the light? On your tires, yeah, see where your tires. See where your wheels are when you're crawling <laughs> I, I at guess, night? Is that a full-scale thing? I, you, well, yeah, <laughs> I, we should I ask to... some of our friends that run these full-scale yeah. crawlers. Let us know what you guys think in the comments. Hit that like button, it really helps us out. That subscribe button helps us out even more if you haven't hit it already, and that notification bell will let you know when we push out our latest videos. Thanks again for watching.